Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and we got some good good news as my eyes are almost popping out of my head. Let's go right here and we're gonna go nice and easy, alright? We're gonna go nice and easy. We're gonna start right here. So this weekend we get the Cactuar dudes. So as always, if you guys are lacking some Cactuars, here's your chance to get them. But to be honest, you have the raid event. Uh, as you're doing it, you're going to be able to summon those Cactuars, so try not to waste your time on this too much. But if you do need Cactuars, go for it. On a second note, we're going to go right here. This dude! Yes! Ah! Finally, this dude is here. So, Maritim, St Maritim Strategis Nicole Unit Intro Quest. Make sure you do that, as you're going to get two tickets for free, so... Yeah, the good old Nicole, my boy. Uh, as you guys can see right here, you complete the unit intro quest, you get a free ticket. You complete the quest, get 100 lapis. Use a limit burst, you get another ticket. Mini smart pots if you use uh, soulful stance. And some uh, one star quartz if you use sharp kick. So, that's amazing. Nicole is finally here. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one. Tag mine. So, uh, if you guys are aware of the Chamber of Arms, where you actually fight really hard bosses with only 10 guys of your main party, so basically you have no friends that you can bring in. Uh, Tag mine is the new boss. We're gonna go right here. Defeat enemies to obtain legendary 12 weapons. Uh, this one we're gonna get, uh, I think it's Thor Mace. Is it the Thor's Mace? We're gonna see right here. Uh, yeah, Thor's Hammer, sorry. Uh, Chamber of Arms, Warrior of Bravery. Uh, Thor's Hammer replica, so once you fight the boss on easy mode, let's say, uh, you get Thor's replica, Thor's Hammer replica, so attack 72. Uh, no limit burst, you're gonna get a tent, no Esper, Phoenix down. Uh, defeat Tegmine, within 30 turns, you're gonna get one Elixir. The second you take on uh, Tegmine the hard way, uh, you're gonna get Thor's Hammer if you beat him, which is a 145 attack hammer, which is really, really strong. And once you equip it to your character, enables Thor Rage uh, to your character. And you guys can see right here what Thor Rage, uh, Thor's Rage is. Deal partial and unmitigated lightning damage to one enemy. Uh, deal Ice, Lightning, Wind and Earth damage. Two rare summon tickets. Defeat Tegmine with a Limit Burst, you get a 10%. I got it right. 10% Moogle. And if you defeat Tegmine within 30 turns, you can equip Elms. Um... Not bad, that's actually pretty good. So for some characters, if you want to give them some helms, that could actually be pretty good. So, build up that team. Uh, if you get CG Nicole, trust me, that fight could be a little bit easier since you're going to be able to survive a little bit more. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We're going to get it on Thursday after the, uh, the maintenance. So that's going to be really cool. And now, let's move on to this. Oh, wait, I missed one. I missed one. Right here. Also, uh, this week, uh, Final Fantasy IV event, new, a new highly difficult quest, Crystal Chamber Battle with Kane. This is going to be really fun. Uh, you guys are going to be able to take on Kane. You guys can see right here, not vulnerable to any break, so you cannot break his attack, magic, defense, or spirit. Uh, but Man Eater can still prove effective Kupo. So we cannot break him, so we're going to have to make sure that. Uh, we're careful about the output of damage that he's going to do to us. Uh, he's probably going to go all physical, so maybe 100% evoke... 100% uh, evade tank will be really good with provoke or just AoE cover. Man, it's becoming really hard to say these words. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, initial completion rewards, as always, you get a 5% mogul. Uh, complete the quest, you get another 5% Moogle, defeat Kane with a limit burst, 10,000 pink tails, pretty cool, no items, dark resistance 20%, uh, get these things, they're always good, uh, it's always good to have inside your ability, um, not ability, inside your, um, your equipment stuff, because these things can turn out to be pretty useful every once in a while. Party of 5 or less, mental clarity, boost attack and SPR by 20% and nullify confusion, which is not bad at all. Can't wait for this boss to come out. It's gonna give us one more thing to do. Uh, so, you know, I'm just thinking out of my head. Man, explore Eileen. She's so strong. So maybe, maybe we could do something with her. But we're gonna see first 
when the unit comes out and we're gonna test out the fight to see exactly how I can bring it to you guys. Next! Now! Now is the real thing. Where destinies intersect. Is that right? Intersect, right. So that's the story event uh, for uh, CG Nicole. If you guys are lacking some of those beautiful, beautiful ability crisps, uh, now it's going to be your chance to farm them. Also, you're going to be able to get more lapis, some equipment also. So you guys can see all crisps right here, pure crisps. All these things right here, you're going to you're going to be able to get them. Also, uh, limited equipment. You get that Gale Rod, attack 14, magic 82 with win, and, uh, win element on it, and enables Aurora. Aurora. Win damage to all enemies. I have a hard time saying this word. Uh, good equipment. Uh, newer to the game, or if you're an OG veteran in the game, still fun to have these things because you never know when you can use them. So not bad at all. And you got Merald's Belt. Uh, MP 20%, attack magic, defense. Uh, attack magic 5% and defense and SPR plus 5 on the raw stats. Uh, this is going to be the team you're going to be used to. You're going to be able to summon for... And we're going to talk about them right now. Man, there's a lot of things. And there's going to be one more news at the end of this video that we're going to have to cover. So let's jump into the featured summon. Guys, if you are new to the channel, please drop a like, subscribe for more. And now let's talk about this beautiful banner that we have here. So the main thing that I'm really happy about, this guy is the only 5 star base on this banner. These two are 4 star and these two are 3 star, which is really great because it boosts up your chance on getting Nicole inside your party or your pool of units that you already have. So that's really cool, uh, major boost, we're gonna go over the unit real fast, uh, not much to talk about, I'm gonna do a unit review when the whole banner comes out, it's gonna be a lot easier. and. Let's just go over the things real fast. So you guys can see right here, he's really high on MP because his moves are going to drain a lot of MP out of him. But he's really, really, really strong. So, uh, Strategic Cape, that's a Stress Master. Defense 40, Magic 52, SPR 38, MP 20%, Ice and Water Resistance 50%. So that's really, really strong. Uh, Link Stance, enable specific abilities to be used twice in one turn. Uh, Soulful Stance, Boost Attack, Defense, Magic and SPR and gradually restore HP for all allies. Uh, Impregnable Stance, Reduce Damage taken for all allies for 3 turns. So this is these two are already really really good and he has a lot more, a lot more good stuff in this kit and we're gonna talk about it uh, maybe on Friday or Saturday. I'm gonna pull out the video with the unit review and you guys will see how good he really is to make your team survive. Then. We got our Black Mage, uh, Lexa, Magic 178, which is actually not bad. Uh, boost Magic and SPR when equipped with a Rod, that's her Trust Master. She has Liber Magica, deal partial unmitigated damage to all enemies. Then she has Wind Walker, nullify confusion and boost wind resistance by 30%. And she has Rod Decoration, boost MP and Magic when equipped with a Rod. So, uh, she looks really cool. I can't wait to get her. I hope I get her. She looks really cool. And, uh... You know, it's always fun to see those new units, the way they look. Uh, next one, this one looks badass. The Swordsman, Elbis. Uh, eye on HP, really good trust master, Flaming Blade Agni. Uh, great sword, attack 125. Uh, it grants you fire resistance 15% and it, it's a fire weapon. So that's really, really good. Uh, especially if you want to chain those fire, uh, fire chains or whatever. Uh, you want to do this is really really good and it's a strong strong sword uh, featured abilities he has blade of destiny damage one enemy with random power double end plus boost attack when armed with a one-ended weapon with the other end empty basically uh, just regular double end and flare impact deal partial unmitigated damage to one enemy and add fire element to own physical attack so I can see that they like those fire weapons uh, last banner with CG lid, you guys uh, with Killian, big fire axe, and now uh, this guy with a big fire sword. So I think I think Gumi and Square Enix really like their fire weapons. That's just my personal opinion. Then we have Mester three star going into five star. Merald, he's okay. He's just a cat or a tiger cat, whatever, uh, with an axe. Uh, Trust Master, axe 120 with lightning element, which is not bad at all. 
Uh, his featured abilities, I don't think you're going to be using him that much. So Flash Axe, Lightning Damage to all enemies. He has Beast Killer. Uh, and upcharge boost on attack and fill LB gauge, which is okay for a five star. Then you get Cherry. Uh, I like that actually. The ice headband is really good. HP 15%, MP 15%, and SPR 10%. That's really really good to put on your healers, uh, especially that MP boost and HP is really good. She has Dragon Magic Dance, boost magical damage against Dragon Monster, and fill LB gauge for one ally. Then she has Dragon Blade Dance, basically the same thing, but now you boost physical damage against Dragon. Uh, chance of charming one enemy, that never works, so forget about this one. <laughs> I'm out of breath. It's crazy! Uh, so this guy looks really good, he's really strong guys, whatever you do, try to pull for him. Keep your tickets, put in some Lapis, because he's totally worth it having inside your party. Uh, I think we have one more, do we have one more? Yeah, we gotta go in the notices. Uh, new units to awaken. So basically, Cherry gets her six star. Nothing crazy there, uh, but you know, gradually limit burst, gradually restore HP and boost defense and spirit uh, and spirit for all allies. It's okay. We'll we'll see once the data mine comes out out of her. Maybe her moves are a little bit better or something. But for now, she's just a regular three star going to five star. That's gonna awaken to a six star. And the last one, ability awakenings. You guys will be able to awaken your Rayjack, Kaliva, Barusa, or Toby. Uh, we're not going to go over the moves right now, but I really like the fact that they added the percentages so it's easier for players to see exactly how much it's getting better. So, uh, the stuff of Legend, Sword Mastery, you guys can see right here, he's getting all of these things um, awaken, and even Barusa. We're going to. Whoa, that was really fast. Kaliva and Toby. So. All these things right here, not bad at all. Uh, I really like the fact though the percentages is really really good on all of this. So you guys can see everything in your in-game uh, in -game news, which is really cool, really cool, really cool. And the last one, as we're going back here, actually we're just going to go back to the main. <coughs> A little bit spoiler on, uh, actually if you guys know... Clake, Yuzolt, or Al on YouTube. Uh, actually, they're the one who brought the news. The June banner... Uh, wait, this thing is still loading. Still connecting! Uh, the June collab with uh, FFB is gonna be Joss Cause 3. So you guys will be able to pull the units. Uh, what's his name? Rico... Oh, I forgot his name. Well, one of the characters there. The main character from the game, Just Cause 3, is gonna be a collab. And hopefully if this guy is as good as Explore Island was, it's gonna be really really good. And uh, I'm anxious for that. It's fun when they collab with other games, different type of games. And they bring the units into this game right here. So, that's it for the news guys. Like I said before, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!